It's April. Salmon and trout anglers are back on the rivers and the smolts are running. Every salmon is valuable, especially these young fish heading out to sea. Smolts are undergoing rapid and significant changes as they prepare to leave their rivers for life in salt water. If you hook a smolt, release it without removing it from the water to prevent scale loss. Safely released, they will swim off, none the worse for wear, and hopefully we'll see them back in the river in a year or two as an adult fish. John Willis gives some advice on what to do if you catch a smolt. Right lads, if, uh, if you practice when you're fishing for catch and release, uh, one of the most important things is, for me is uh, not to mesh net. It doesn't take the scales off the fish, it doesn't harm the fish. Um, especially with the smolts this time of the year, barbless hooks if possible, and try and release them in the water without, without handling them, if, you, if, if at all possible. Um, if you don't have barbless hooks, forceps, and the forceps will squeeze the barb on the hook quite good for you. Um, in general, if you have to handle the smalls, a good wetting of the hands, um, and handle them really, really careful, really gentle, they, they, they are vulnerable. Um, again, if you're starting to meet a lot of smalls, my advice would be just step back out the river for 10 minutes and let them pass. They're passing in shoals, they won't be there all day, they'll be gone. So that's it. The river has been rested and the shoal of smolts has passed through. Time to get back to the business of catching trout. <laughs>